Hello my beauties, I hope everybody is having an amazing day. I am super excited for this makeup and hair. I don't even think I've ever done a makeup and hair look in the same video. So I thought today I would do this look. I wore this in one of my Instagram pictures yesterday and I just loved how it turned out. I think it was using that Lumi Magic the blah, blah. I think it was using that Lumi Magic primer under the makeup. Just gave it this amazing glow and I just fell in love and it lasted amazingly. I did my friend's sister's makeup for her ball yesterday, so what makeup I put on in the morning, then all through the night, um, we had like drinks and photos and stuff, so it didn't budge, and so I thought, why not do this makeup look, why not film it, because I need to share that kind of longevity that we all look for. So I did this makeup look today, and then I also filmed doing my hair. You will see if you watch my video, like how long it takes me to do my hair, and why my hair is mostly straight because curling it just takes forever, there is so much, but I love the look, I always love my hair curled in the end, and it lasts for like three days, so bonus, can get away with that, so I hope you like the look, and let's get started. Hello my beauties, today I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer, this is a perfect highlighting primer base, it's going to give your skin an amazing glow and it's just going to look nice and subtle and healthy, so I'm applying this everywhere except for my nose with a synthetic duo fiber brush. Then down the center of my face I'm going to be taking some of the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, so I'm putting this on my forehead, down and around my nose, as well as around my mouth, this is going to give us a beautiful base for the foundation. So the foundation I'm taking today is the NARS Sheer Glow and this is in the shade Fiji which is number light 6. This foundation is amazing, look for it coming up in my May favourites because I absolutely love it, the colour is gorgeous and applied with a beauty blender it is just stunning and majorly long wearing. So try out that combo or that trio because they work beautifully together. To conceal under my eyes, I'm taking some of the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This is in the lighter shade, which I think is Fair Pale. So I'm just putting that under my eyes, as well as a little bit on my forehead, down my nose, on my chin. You know, all those usual places to bring a lot of light and a little bit of extra coverage to that area. So brushing out my eyebrows today, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Auburn. I love this product so much. My hair's a little bit dark here at the roots for this product because this product is quite a warm brown. But I really wanted to use it, so <laughs> that is what is happening today. So I'm just applying that with a small MAC angled brush. And then I'm going to be brushing through it and then I will be applying some brow gel. So this formula is amazing, it stays in place all day and is just like transfer proof. But because it is a cream, I really like to use the Benefit Gimme Brow just to give some texture back to my brows and make them look nice and full and have all the hairs sort of standing out and looking amazing. So I'm just going to powder my face, I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder, you'll see this in all my videos recently, I love it. And this is just an hourglass finishing brush, I think it's like a number 7 Kabuki, it's perfect for this powder. To see under my eyes I'm taking the Bare Minerals Well Rested Under Eye Concealer and I'm just applying this with a Zoeva Luxe Highlighter Brush. For bronzer, I'm taking my Hourglass. This is the Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. I love this bronzer for giving an amazing glow to your skin. It looks super sun-kissed. It's a beautiful terracotta undertone, and I think this looks amazing on everyone. So I'm just applying that all over with a large powder brush just to give me a sun-kissed look, even though I'm in an autumn at the moment. 
Next, I'm just applying a little bit of the Milani Baked Blusher, and this is in the shade Berry and More. It is beautiful for this look. The undertones in this blush are stunning. And then I just blend it in a little bit with my bronzer brush. To give the glow that I'm always after, I'm taking the Becca Times Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. This is gorgeous. You guys, if you've watched my highlighter video and you've seen me rave about it, the pigment is just stunning and look at it. I mean, it is beautiful. So it's just going in my usual highlighting places, basically everywhere, because I just love it. There's no excuse, I just love it. Now the reason I've left my eyes till last is because I'm going to be doubling up on some of the products. So I first of all prime my eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot just to neutralise my lid. And then I'm just going to be setting that down with some more of that Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder just to make sure nothing moves and nothing sticks. Then I'm going back in with that Hourglass Bronzer. I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm just pushing that all through the crease and winging it out slightly. This will give the effect of elongated eyes and I think it's a gorgeous colour. Then to add a little pop of colour, I'm taking a little bit of that Milani Baked Blusher and I'm just popping that on the lid itself, just with a really light hand, but it just adds a nice flush of colour as well. To line my eyes today, I'm taking the Kat Von D. This is the Ink Liner in the shade Trooper. I really like it because it has a really fine tip, so it's really easy to be quite precise with it and not have to have tape like I usually do. <laughs> So I'm just doing a defined lash line, but nothing too crazy. No super huge wings for me today, but just something to make my eyelashes pop. Curling my lashes with the Shura Mirror Eyelash Curlers, I'm going to be taking my trusted Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. You've seen this a thousand times. I love it. And I think I say that you've seen it a thousand times, like every time it comes up. So I apologize. But that's what I'm taking today. And I'm just doing quite a few generous coats to my top and bottom lashes. I love this tube at the moment because it's slightly dried out. So it makes the mascara even better. On my lips, I'm taking my absolute favourite. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Berlin. It is just like everything you can want in a warm toned brown. It is stunning. So I'll put a link down below where I got it if you can't find it and you're in New Zealand, but I really recommend this shade. It is beautiful. So who's excited? I'm curling my hair for the first time in a video. <laughs> Thank goodness for speeding up and editing because otherwise you would be so bored. So as we go through it, I'm excited. So I'm just sectioning my hair basically at the top of my ears. I'm clipping it up so I have a nice easy section to work with. Usually at the back of my hair, I just straighten the top bit slightly and then I curl it away from my head. So you can kind of see I've done one turn and then I work my way down and just as I get to the bottom, I'm going to turn the straightener as well again, just to give the bottom a little bit more of a structured curl. And I usually do that with my fingers just to make sure the curl is nice and uniform. And then I flick it over the back and move on. So again, so I'm turning it away from me, kind of like curling a ribbon. I'm pulling it downwards and then you'll see I'll turn it a little bit more and that's just going to curl the bottom just that extra bit. Have you ever felt 
Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. So I often try to go back the front and then do it the other way so that they don't stick together because they end up like Goldilocks a lot of the time. But often I forget which way I've gone just before so it kind of just ends up as a mishmash but I do try to separate the curls as well. And then I always make sure that the curls at the very front are going away from my face, that they frame it really nicely and I like to make sure the top bit is smooth. My fringe is usually the hardest bit to curl so I leave that till last and usually that might take two times because often I curl it the wrong way. But you know, it's fine. I'm just going to take a little bit of my Go Native New Zealand. This is a um, argan oil. It is like a pure organic certified, all those good things. And you literally need like the smallest amount. made it this far I just want to say thank you for watching I really hope you enjoyed the makeup and the hair look and give me any tips or feedback down below for things you want to see in the future I hope you have an amazing day and I will talk to you soon bye today I was inspired by a look I did over the weekend it was this beautiful cranberry eye very smoky, very elongated, and I did sort of like a very nude lip with it. So I wanted to show you that today. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. So let's begin. I'm starting out with my Kiehl's Moisturizer. This is the Centella 